Hi Stephanie. Hi. I'm happy to see you. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Yeah. Stephanie, tell me a little what bit about it? relationships. Well, relationships are when two people come together and decide that they're going to be together and um, get to know each other a little more and possibly have a future together. Tell me about when do you think a relationship is Serious. I think a, ser a serious relationship is based um, when the two people come together and they get to know a little more about each other for a good and healthy serious communication. Now, how did you guys communicate? Because a lot of young adults like you are there, they're in a relationship, they don't know whether if it's just serious or just uh, just a front, you know, so how would you know when it's serious? Well, serious relationship, you have to know the person. You have to know that, again, you two are probably communicating, so there wouldn't be no confidentiality relationship on trust. But what about um, understanding? Basically, a good way for the person in your relationship to have good communication. Like good communication, you guys are not being able to relate to one another and to understand and have um, you have got to be together and communicate. Okay, Stephanie. Now, tell me about respect. Respect is something that is very important um, among, especially in a relationship. Without respect, you are basically can't build on nothing. But let's say, for example, like two people are just seeing each other, like girlfriend and boyfriend. How respectful they could be to each other? Well, first off, for you to have respect for each other, you can't be selfish. Okay. Selfishness is something that is cannot be in a shape at all. Good point. But another thing, isn't it like when two people respect each other because a relationship could be going to one level to the other. There's a boundary right there. So how would you know that when to cross it? For you to cross a boundary, if it comes down to anything, um, both person, both people have to agree on it. It can't be one person agree and another person can't. Both people have to come together and make a decision into making a decision together as a couple. So things will be ugly later on in the relationship. Tell me. How do you involve your family and your friends in your relationship? There's certain boundaries between friends and family. There's things that happen between your boyfriend or your girlfriend and you, and that should be kept between you two. Um, it's good in some ways and, and some bad ways that it's good to limit your communications on your relationship with talking to your friends and family about your relationship. But do you need to tell your friends everything about what what's happening between you and your boyfriend? No, you don't because what once again like I said, 
whatever happens between you and your boyfriend should stay between you and your boyfriend. You can always ask your friend for advice on if you and your boyfriend or girlfriend is having problems and you just need advice on, you know, if you guys got in a small fight, you know, and you just need advice. What do you think about when it comes to sexual? Isn't it something that is very, I know this is a very, very sensitive point because not everybody are comfortable to talk about it, but it's a very serious issue in the relationship. What do you think about sex? I feel that you have to have um, a very good friendship. You have to build um, a friendship first. That should be your your foundation and a very strong relationship. And hopefully, you know, if that ever happens, that could be a uh, decision between you two, and hopefully the right decision, because sex is not, shouldn't be out there mm -hmm. for you to just, you just know. Okay, so you're saying, in other words, that sex is something that people have to take it seriously. Yes. It is not just like just from have sex and have pleasure, but it should, you should talk about it, and you should, both of you wants to do it, and there's a lot of precautions. Because just remember, there's a lot of diseases out there, and you don't want to be exposed, especially you just boyfriend and girlfriend. And then if you, in the future, that you want to build a relationship, I mean, a family, so you have to really take, you know, good precautions. You have to make sure that both of you are in good health. I agree. I think that we should better educate ourselves about sex and um, educate other people about it because as young adults, we are not educated enough about it mm -hmm. and we should not only educate ourselves, but educate others about sex and the awareness of sex. Okay. Tell me a little bit about you personally. Are you in a relationship? Yes, I am currently in a relationship. I am in a relationship with my boyfriend. We've been in a relationship for a year and four months now. How serious is the relationship? We are pretty serious. I'm listening to my family. My family likes him. Um, we have discussed um, our future together. Right now, are you in school? Yes, currently right now, I um, just finished um, my school, two-year school, called North Hampton Human College. Okay. Um, I'm taking a break right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be transferring to uh, university and majoring in psychology and minoring in communications. What about your boyfriend? My point. Well, he is wanting to do uh, computers. Okay. He goes to um, a very big university called Penn State. Mm -hmm. um, he likes it. Where's Penn State? Penn State. Well, there's many campuses. It's um, in Hazleton, PA. Mm -hmm. It's about 45 minutes from here. Okay. It's a very big college. Oh, right. One of the best colleges in the state, actually. Oh. So, yeah. It's wonderful. Are you a Christian? Do you believe in God? Yes, I'm actually, um, I'm a Christian. I'm actually a Seventh-day Adventist. Mm -hmm. I've been going to church since I was born. Okay. So, every Saturday, mm -hmm. Seventh-day Adventist. But do you think that when somebody believes in God, there's certain things that they don't do as a young adult? I mean, for example, isn't it sometimes it's the environment that you're in? Let's say that if you, in church that you this is you don't drink alcohol, you don't do drugs and then you don't do a lot of things. Is mm -hmm. do you think that it's true? Yes, mm -hmm. I think being a Christian you um, don't involve yourself in certain situations like going out with friends on Friday nights and um, and not getting yourself into certain crowds mm -hmm. that drink and smoke and you know, having
and sex, I think. Um, the Christianity, being, you being a Christian, you want to um, put yourself in a positive environment so you don't um, end up in the wrong crowd. Okay, but it's not everybody who goes to church on Friday nights because unless you're seven years old, it's like you said, but there's, a pe other, there's people that believe in God, but they don't, do, they don't go to church. But isn't it, because I personally think that if you believe in God, you don't really have to go to church to be a, you know, like to have a good relationship with God. And so, because sometimes that create, you know, religious create a lot of confusions. Because when I talk to people, I talk to them about, I said, I strongly believe in God because I know God is good. Okay? But I don't never really talk about, discuss religions with them. So, like you said, when you fear of God, there's a lot of things that you don't do. And um, and you have to set yourself in a positive environment. Because when, because a lot of time, younger, young adults, they go and they try drugs or alcohol is because they have to, they want to be accepted in a certain, you know, um, group or whatever. So, you don't want, I think before you get involved in any groups or any um, environment, you need to really evaluate the people that is in it because you don't want to set yourself, put yourself in a positive environment. Because once, once you get involved in a positive environment, what happens is it motivates you, you get to do good. And then you'll with your goal because everybody, I believe that every young adult has a, uh, what you call it, a goal you want to accomplish and you have a dream. Okay, Stephanie, I know you have a lot of, uh, lots of friends. Does any of your friends had like a um, good experience or bad experience in a relationship? Yes, I had a few friends that had, had um, long-term relationship, but I also had friends that didn't have, were very lucky about um, in their relationship. I actually know this girl that went to my school, my college, and she ended up getting pregnant, and her mom didn't know. And her boyfriend, actually her boyfriend, were having problems during, you know, the pregnancy and everything while she was pregnant. Their problems and uh, they end up breaking up. Oh, but now they part their ways, they part their ways, and now they're back together for the sake of the babies. How old is the baby now? The baby is about two months. Oh, now. yeah. So, what I, are the back in school now? Or? She is, he actually goes to Northampton, the school that I just got yeah. out of okay. and she is actually doing um, online classes mm -hmm. so she's at home with the baby but still getting an education. Are you trying to send a message out there for the young adults like you, yourself and your friends? Yes, I want to send out all my concerns and a message out to the young girls about just being more cautious and who you're meeting and the guy that you meet and just be aware, just get to know the person more and you know, don't be such in a rush into, you know, being boyfriend, girlfriend and calling it official and um, getting into a relationship faster and quicker than it's usually expected. It takes time and you just need time. Time will tell if the person is the right person for you. It has been a pleasure discussing relationship with Stephanie and I hope you guys enjoyed the view and thank you again. You have a nice evening. God bless. Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.